welcome to interview.com i'll be talking about the the sixth question what is the difference between abstract class and interface okay let's see abstract class have abstract class have executable methods and abstract methods can only subclass one abstract class interface a class can in implement any number of interfaces have no implementation code all methods are abstract so let's see an example abstract classes are a class which cannot be instantiated okay the first rule is it cannot be instantiated okay it has to be extended by some subclasses that traditionally we call as concrete classes which will which will give the implementation for the abstract methods you can, here you can see there are there are abstract methods and default methods so what is the use of uh, abstract class so you have here you can see the example migration.java export.java import.java so these two are concrete classes here migration classes so copy file is a method used by both the export.java and import.java so we don't want to keep this copy files method in both the classes which is duplicate code the first principle that we in good uh, good designing um, code if you want to know whether the code is well designed you should check for duplication of code so here the duplication of code is avoided by creating an abstract class so copy file method has been moved from export and import to migration java so so export can use the copy file method import can use the copy file method but there is a different there is a uh, different implementation should be provided uh, provided by the export and import for that we made this method abstract okay that means abstract means only the signature will be present the implementation should be given by the classes which are extending it so export at java will give you the implementation for migrate abstract method and import at java will give the its own implementation it is this is called encapsulation so if you want in future if one more class comes into picture so it will give its own implementation so it's like common interface given to the client and uh, and implementations are given given by the um, subclasses in future in future also it can be adapted so this is abstract class okay an interface interface uh, a class can implement any number of interfaces it just uh, helps you in inheriting only there's a method signature file open say for example file.java is an interface it has a method called file open pdf file.java pt file.java xsl file.java xls file.java so these are the three subclasses uh, classes which is implementing this file.java interface that means so all three has as their own implementation it is completely different this file open is different from this one and the other one so here you can see there are no default methods in the sense like copy files here we don't have any default method so that we can push it to the super class here we don't have any default method so only signature has been um, uh, shared or abstracted here so what is the, uh, okay what is the difference so if you have any default methods that you want in the concrete classes then you go for abstract abstract class you don't have any default methods you don't want any code method or lines of code to be shared between these subclasses these concrete classes then you go for interface this is the difference so um, whenever you design you design for uh, you design in such a way that there should not be any duplication of code okay um, so if you are if you are applying if you are create if you are able to create abstract class and interfaces your your module your application will have programming to an interface and not to an implementation so that principle you can uh, adapt so hopefully you understood the uh, difference between abstract class and interface uh, thank you for watching interview.com videos for more java questions and answers 
log on to interview.com india's top interview guide thank you and all the best for your interview